Hey guys, Aaron here. I just wanted to put up a vlog uh, for today. Um, what to talk about? I, I really didn't have any ideas going into this. Uh, I just I just posted another, you know, shot another video for my for the channel. Um, well, today, you know what? We'll talk about uh, life, life, and all the challenges and and, and bullshit that we deal with. Okay. Um, I myself am a recovering alcoholic. Well, I've been sober, coming up on five years. And um, throughout that time, you know, I've had a lot of ups and downs, um, life on life's terms type stuff. You know, hard times, um, great times. But at the end of the day, uh, the thing that, 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 that's been constant is, has been change. And what I mean by that is every time that I start to become comfortable, everything gets shaken up. So what I've learned, and this is just uh, from my, my perspective and my opinion, uh, what I have learned <clears throat> is that the only thing constant in life is change, and that comfort is not good. At least for me, it's not. Um, comfort. I don't mean. I don't mean living comfortably and being. I mean being becoming comfortable with uh, situations and circumstances and mindsets in your life. Um, for me, that can mean a number of things. You know, a job, um, a relationship, a friendship. Uh, you know, family, I mean, and, and pretty much anything. Um, the thing that I I have come to realize is that there's people that are sent into your lives for a season, there's people that are in your lives for a reason, and there's people that are in your lives for life, okay? And that's not the exact saying, but that's just my my personal spin on it, okay? Um, you know, I've had friends. Uh, for life, I've had friends that have been there for me through everything that from day one to up up till this very day. I've had friends that were there, you know, for six months, and for that six months, they were the best friends I ever had. But then they moved on, and life life happened, and things changed. And um, sometimes that's hard for me, you know, or it has been. I've adjusted to it in the past year, year and a half, because I'm just in a season right now where. You know, it's only a few people. Instead of 50, I've got five good friends, best friends, whatever you want to call it. You know, but um, but that can suck sometimes. You can feel alone. You can feel like nobody gives a shit about you. You know, um, there's there's a lot to be said. about a good a good person about a good friend okay and I've got one right now in particular this friend came into my life as a neighbor and he I want to say it's been about two years okay this guy came into my life as a neighbor and over time it took time it did take time but over time, him and I, I don't know, something happened, you know, and we became, we ended up becoming pretty much best friends. He's the best friend. I, at this point, I'd say he's almost one of the best friends I've ever had. Uh, you know, and I, and I don't take that for granted. I mean, he's gone to bat for me. He's, he, you know, he's just been a fantastic friend, him and his significant other. And, you know, starting out, they barely knew me. But, you know, I mean, when, when things when things have been, when problems have arisen, when troubles have ever have come, you know, my way, he's been right there. And, uh, you know, it's, when, when I'm going through seasons like I am right now, because it's a season, um, I, I just, that's what I hold on to. You know, that, that and those that love me, I, you know, because as I've said, I have a wife and, a ch and two kids. And, uh, 
I hold on to those things because that's that's what that's what that's at the end of the day that's what's most important. Um, those that love us. Sorry, those that love us. That's what's most important. Because, you know, sometimes we do, you know, especially when the, when the pressure's on, when the heat's on, and, uh, you know, the pressures of life are coming at you 120 miles an hour. Um, it, that's the first thing that we, that, that at least some of us, you know, some of us that, and especially those with depression and anxiety, the first thing that we resort to is that we're not worth anything. You know, nobody gives a shit about us. And um, that's simply not true. You know, our, our brains will tell us that, that we're not worth a shit, but in fact we are. There is somebody, at least one person, everybody's got at least one person that cares about them. And cares, you know, what happens to them, and cares what, um, where they're at in their lives and what they're feeling. There's always one person, I don't care... If you're homeless, there's one other homeless person that you live around or that you hang out with that does care. You know, and that, that's a lot. That says a lot about, you know, a lot of people. Um, I don't know. You know, I, I, I don't want this to be depressing for people. I, I, I want this to be, you know, something to pick somebody up. Because, I mean, I've been there. I've suffered a lot. You know, I've gone through a lot in my life. And, um, you know, I'm still standing. Life has thrown everything it's had at me. Not quite everything. There's been, there's still some things I haven't been through. But, you know, I've been through a lot. You know, I've gone through a lot. And, and I've seen a lot. And I've done a lot. And, you know, at the end of the day, what I'm what I'm saying in this video is, is what I've found to be what has gotten me through, you know, these difficult times. This time of year is hard for me in particular. This is the anniversary of the passing of my father. Now, my father was, which makes this a hard time of year, period. You know, it, it's very, uh, the change of season in the, on the East Coast already makes it hard enough for a lot of people. But you throw an uh, anniversary of a death, you know, it's been nine years. Yeah, it's been a long time. But uh, this time of year rolls around, boom, the depression, the, you know, the, the, the dark cloud starts settling in and... You know, it, it's hard. It's hard. It makes it really hard. And, you know, memories and, and things like that come to mind. And I don't know. I don't know. It, it's just a tough time of year. So this is the time of year I've really got to hold on to the things that I'm saying. You know, the, the my kids, my, my wife, you know. Um, that's just the way it's got to be. Because um, otherwise, I'm going to fall by the wayside. You know, and... and just stop caring. So that's kind of my dog wants to be on camera. Peanut, say hi, Peanut. Okay, now you're gonna be shy. Okay, back to the video. Sorry, he 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 was he was standing there, wanting attention and wanting to be on video. But anyway, um, I I, I don't know. I don't know. So it just it just makes for a hard time of year, you know. And 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 depression does set in for me. It does. It does, and it gets hard. And you know, sometimes it's difficult to sleep. It's you know because the stuff just it won't. It doesn't go away. Uh, it's hard. It's very, very, very fucking hard. Um, and this is just being open and honest and real. Okay. I, I I look at these animals. You know, I look at I look at the dog. And just wish sometimes I could be so carefree. Um, you know, we're, we're bogged down with feelings and, you know, circumstances and choices. And, you know, and these, these animals, they live just the most simplistic, easy life. And sometimes I wish, I wish that all of us could have that. Not just for myself, for everybody. Because I don't, I'm not a person who likes to just think about myself. Um, I don't. I, I, I get no joy out of it. I get joy out of helping and watching others grow and get through things. And that's what works for me. But, you know, this time of year, like I said, you know, change of season, um, anniversary of a death. And a lot of people, you know, and for some reason, I don't know what it is, why people 
tend to die this time of year, Christmas, Thanksgiving. It, the holidays are freaking hard for people. You know, unfortunately, um, for me, you know, I've got a lot to be grateful for. I've got a lot that a lot of people don't have, and that, that that's that's the stuff that I have to hang on to, and um, <clears throat> really just hang my hat on because if I don't, you know, I'm getting caught up, and I'm gone. So. I don't know. I just threw this video up. I wasn't even sure what, when I turned the camera on, what this was even going to turn into. Um, but, you know, I, again, like I've said before, I want this to be, I try to be as transparent as I possibly can. Put myself out there and uh, hope that at, that something um, I say will either help someone, uh, encourage someone. I mean, because as bad as things have gotten for me in the past, I'm still here and you know right now things aren't perfect for me you know I'm I'm not this is about the lowest I may have ever felt you know f as far as financially but I'm still here and I don't give up because I'm strong and that's the thing is you've got to be strong you've got to remain strong no matter what, you've got to you've got to try to stay. I mean, it's hard. You've got to try to stay positive, and you've got to stay strong and stay rooted and grounded in whatever belief system you have. Because sometimes that's all that we have. You know, in certain situations, there may be nobody around. There may be nobody answering our phone. It may be two o'clock in the morning, and nobody's awake. And you have those times where you're. It's just you and your thoughts. I mean, there may be people there, but they're sleeping. They're you know. So if they do wake up, they're not going to be there for you like you're going to need them to be. So sometimes that, that is the, so the number one thing I can say is to hold on to, I mean, atheist, Christian, Muslim, whatever you are, um, and that's perfectly, you know, fine. But that's what you want to hang on to and hold on to because that may be all that you have. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, this is Aaron. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I will have more videos, and the videos will get better. They won't just be you guys staring at this mug all the time, I promise. But uh, take care, guys, and have a good one.